let's spice things up at El Tequileño's owner, Rodrigo Sanchez, is here to cook us up something great. Actually, you've already done the cooking. This is so good, and I, it's so hard for me to focus when you're here because it smells delicious. All right, let's talk about your locations because you're just, you're everywhere. Oh, well, yeah. We have one in Arvada, 64 in Ward, mm -hmm. one in Aurora, have one in Yale, one in Lakewood, Kipling in Florida, a new one in Colfax and Golden next to Camping World. Oh, my goodness. Next to Camping World. That's easy to find. Easy to find. Easy That's to what find. I mentioned. That's your that. new one. I love this. Okay. Now, when we talk about all this, you've also got some at the sports bar. We've got football season coming up. We've got all this stuff happening. Where are your sports bars? Well, the right place to go watch all the sports, especially Broncos coming right now, mm -hmm. it's going to be Laywood on Kipling, Florida, in Aurora, Havana, and Yale. Okay, perfect. Yes. And I've been in there in the sports bars. They are the coolest sports bars. It's perfect. You can eat all this food, drink all this wonderful tequila, which actually brings me to my next question, and that is your tequila section is unlike anything I've ever seen in any Mexican restaurant ever. Talk about the selection and why you have so many wonderful tequilas. You know, we got the right selection because I know Denver needs a place where where they need to go have the right tequila. Mm -hmm. So El Tequileño, that's the one offers the right selection of tequila with a little bit over 200 different kinds of tequila. 200, yes. okay. Now you brought a couple of them that you like. These are really nice ones, by the yeah. way, here. We brought Classy Azul tequila mm -hmm. today for the show. Yes. This is really nice. I, it tastes so good too, by the way. And you make wonderful margaritas. You've heard me tout your margaritas before, but this is the truth. I don't say this unless it is. You made me a margarita this a couple of years ago. Might be the best margarita I've ever had. And I've traveled around and had some good margaritas, but your, what's the key to your, your, fa well, your great margarita? The key, one of the keys is we use fresh lime to make it, no sweet and sour, and we use the right tequila. We use salsa tequila to make it. Yeah, you really do. You go all out. Let's talk about yes. this food now. We've gotten to the, we put, did the good stuff first. We did the tequila first. Let's talk about this. We've got wonderful salads. We've had ceviche. Have you ever brought ceviche before? No, that's the first time we've yes. brought ceviche today. Yes. Oh, this is so good. The, so we've got the ceviche. What do we have here? We got the, uh, we call it pretalados. That's uh, shrimp with bacon. bacon. Bacon wrapped yes. shrimp, you guys. I'm gonna try to do something. Can you just see that? I mean, look at that. It is as it literally smells as good as it looks on TV. Okay, we've got your guacamole. This what will be gone. Do you see all the guacamole we have on here? When we're done, approximately 30 seconds after the show <laughs> ends, you will have almost the entire station down here eating this guacamole because it's so good. I would take this just for myself, but they won't let me just do that. All right, then we also have, this is one of my other favorite um, uh, dishes mojo de you ajo, have. Yes, mojo de ajo. with yes. the mushrooms. Yes. So good, so good. And then talk about, you've got a couple of like seafood bowls here yeah. for that, us. The, the one down there at the front is the seafood soup. Okay. You know, that one is what people really like a lot of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. on like a seafood stuff because there's like seven items on it. Mm. I mean, it, it makes so good, so tasty because we make them fresh too. Oh, you always do. I've been in the kitchen with you. I know what you're talking about. You always have your slaw, which uh, don't ever overlook the slaw if you go in there, folks. It is truly made fresh, so good, and it's a perfect complement to all your dishes too. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, can we go to one of my other favorites? It's this one's over here. We may not be able to see it much, but this is your shrimp diablo. Uh, a tell us, tell us about the shrimp diablo because you ha actually helped me make this one time in the in the kitchen. Tell us how you make it. What all's in it? Well, you know, one of the secrets we use for the shrimp diop that I'm going to say today, it's the orange, fresh orange, we squeeze, them, we squeeze them, so it'll make it the right flavor, the right taste. See, that was the secret. I didn't want to say it, but I'm glad you <laughs> said it because there is fresh orange in there. It gives that just a bit of citrus in there to kind of spice it up and just a little bit of tang. It tastes so good. I mean, I'm telling you. Yes. All right, we have the guac. We've done. Oh, let's not forget this. This yeah, is no. like your fish soup. Yeah, fish soup. It's right? so good. Yeah. Okay. And this kind is spicy too. Oh, it's a little spicy. Yes, this one is a spicy. Okay. Okay. The seafood soup down there is a normal taste, mm -hmm. but this fillet soup is spicy. It's very, okay, I love yes. that. You can tell how fresh all of this with the broth and the fresh herbs and everything that's inside. This is catfish. Yes, right? it is. That's really good stuff too. So this is one of the things I think people are talking about. You're from Michoacan. Right? Yes. That's the area that you, you're, you you come from and that you make a lot of these dishes from. This is what they would eat, right? Yes, it is. Down there. Yes. From right. Michoacan, pretty much most of the stuff. Yes. Yes. See, that's something I think a lot of people think, oh, well, this is, when you go in there and you taste this, you're like, I don't know if I've ever tasted something like this before. What would you say is your most popular? Well, one of the most popular from here pretty much is the shrimp diablo. From the ones we're about today at the show. Yeah. Yes. Now, we kind of like when he brings the shrimp diablo. <laughs> yes. And of course, the guacamole, which you can't go wrong. But if you were wanting to actually find a wonderful place, especially if you've got people in from out of town, you want to really impress them, this yes. is a great place to go, guys. This food is so delicious. He brings this in here fresh, by the way, too, which is so nice, too. All right. Do you have a favorite? I've never even, have I ever even asked you your favorite yes. before? I mean, for me right now, yes. the, of everything is this. 
Oh, the fish. So, okay. It's so good, yes. I always like that one. Okay, I know what I'm going to eat later. All right, El Tequileño <laughs> is in Aurora, Arvada, Lakewood, and Golden Sports Bars or in Aurora and Lakewood locations. Now, we've got happy hour Monday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. All you have to do is visit El Tequileño, mexrest.com. They paid for today's segment. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.